Opened in 2000 on what used to be rugged land and a heavily wooded terrain, the golf course at Glen Mills finds itself just a few miles outside of Philadelphia. We either own the land or it's park all around our course. So it's gonna be a rarity in Philadelphia area, a course without houses and where you can actually go out and the only people you see or that force them maybe on the tee in front of you. And they're with 12 and a half minute tee times, 13 minute tee times, that's never much of a problem. The standard 18 hole course designed by Bobby Weed offers a quiet, peaceful place for golf. But it also offers much more than that, a second chance for teens that ran into trouble to learn the ropes of the golf industry. We try to take antisocial behavior and turn it into pro-social behavior. That's, that is our goal. The students are here between uh, nine months and a year and a half, some of them a little longer. They learn every, everything from the smallest detail of keeping their locker, keeping the locker room clean to triplexing the fairways, which is the top status job. The school was formed out here in 1896, and of course uh, went through many different generations of it, of uh, format. Uh, then the last, since 1975, it's been residential therapy, and um, we have about 600 to 900 students, and 30, 30 to 50 of which work on the golf course. Our students come from 26 different states, and they're sent here by their, their jurisdiction. Could be anywhere from Chicago to somewhere in Texas to somewhere in California. They come from the inner city. Uh, they'll start on the, on the team here up at the golf course, and within three weeks, we have them mowing greens uh, as good as our, as good as anybody. The teens help keep the golf course at Glen Mills in tip-top shape, while at the same time preparing for their very own career in areas like turf or golf course management, and even equipment and small engine repairs. Probably anywhere between, of that 50 students, uh, probably 10 to, 10 to 15 of them are working at any time on the golf course. Uh, it's an upscale daily, daily fee golf course. Uh, we hand mow the greens, approaches, tees, triplex the fairways. Um, we do all of the things that a, a top-notch golf course would do, and, we, and the students oper learn to operate all the equipment. Many of these kids are inner city kids, the main, um, and it's important for their job training. Many of them have never, most of them have never had a job before, and don't, and have, and need that kind of an atmosphere. Giving the students a chance to maintain the course regularly and competently provides golfers with opportunity to play in almost any condition. With USGA Greens, we can play golf in the rain. If the golfers can go out there safely, I let them play. We play more days when other golf courses, we pick up business when other golf courses are out of business. Right now people are airifying their greens. I won't touch my greens after the spring. It's a course with a purpose that stretches far beyond just playing golf, like teaching lessons, crafting trades, and giving those who deserve it a chance to turn over a new leaf. Thank you.
Thank you.